Ooh, girl, let me move Miss Dijon over and... Hey, girl. Howdy, 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 my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Taurus, for January 2022. All right, darling? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe, uh, beautiful Taurus, let me know in the comments below which tarot cards resonate with you and how, because that's how we keep up with you. Uh, it's through the comments, as well as be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, because it helps me out more than you ever possibly could imagine, Taurus. All right? Uh, be looking for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign as well, Taurus to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life as well as be looking for the code word that's going to be popping up somewhere in this video to be putting down in the comments below and to be entered into a chance to win a completely free tarot reading by me all right taurus so let's just jump right into your tarot reading today let's see what's going on with you all right taurus we have the hermit energy coming in for you right off the bat darling right off the bat all right we then have the king of cups energy and then Taurus, we have coming in the Ten of Cups as well. Oh, girl, almost just lost. We almost just lost that Ten of Cups, honey. <laughs> Going off the table. Back of the deck energy is the Ace of Cups coming in here. Fabulous, Taurus. Very, very fabulous reading right off the bat here. All right. What I see is going to be going down for you, uh, Tauruses, is that something's going to be bringing you out of your shell. I say something, but I what I really mean, Taurus, is that someone, for most of you Tauruses, is going to be taking you out of your shell. I do see for some of you guys, you might be hearing back from an old friend. Uh, Taurus is something that I'm sensing here in this dynamic. Um, some of you guys, it's going to be a completely new energy here. Someone that uh, really makes you uh, makes your heart flutter, darling, right? That's what the Ace of Cups represents, is your heart chakra opening up uh Taurus here um I do see in this energy here as well Taurus that you know with this king of cups here and this hermit energy this is just intuitive uh for from me Taurus but some of you guys you might be a little bit resistant uh initially towards opening up it's kind of like that energy where uh, you know you need to get out of the house, right? But you have your blackout curtains turned in and all that, right? So it's like you might have been a little bit too comfortable, honey, uh, being in this hermiting state here. All right, Taurus? So be aware about that, right? Because nothing is promised when it comes to Tarot. We just tap into current energies coming in. And all I can let you know is how you can best allow this energy to come into your space or to avoid it, depending on the message, right? But I do see for a lot of you Tauruses here, something's getting you out of your shell. I feel as if for about 80% of you Tauruses, uh, this cup energy is referring to either like a new energy coming in, or for some of you with that ten of cups here, it's like an old friend, maybe a family member, something in that nature, Taurus as well where it just is like kind of motivating you from getting uh for you to like leave the house and you know, getting you out of like maybe some of you guys like a little bit of a depressive bout or what have you uh Taurus um but others of you it might be opportunities right because cups do represent opportunities coming in as well so definitely let's get some clarification in regards to this message here Taurus and let me know how you're doing in the comments below <sighs> let's check in so we have this full energy my favorite tarot card in the deck uh Taurus coming in for you darling all right all right coming in strong we have the making sure honey it's the page of pentacles coming in here uh for you Taurus and then we have here the queen of swords coming in all right so this is exactly what i was just uh kind of warning you some of you guys about taurus this is this queen of swords energy right um i feel as if for many of you guys for whatever the reason is taurus some of you guys you might be feeling a little bit too overwhelmed right now because that's what put you in that hermiting state or you know some of you guys i mean let's just be real honey we're human here right uh might might just be just like general depression right you know what it's hard for us to take ourselves out of like a depressive bout when we're in it but once we get out of it then we're so happy that we did right and so for many of you guys Taurus again full energy comes in with this page of pentacles so socially page of pentacles can represent um someone extending out communication towards you uh taurus and the full energy is always associated with the number zero if you look at it taurus right um because that's the beginning of a new chapter a new journey for all of you right and so whatever the case may be even with this page of pentacles with because pentacles darling naturally referred to finances some of you tauruses you might be having some type 
type of new stream of revenue coming in, some, uh, some opportunity to uh, work and bring forth further abundance. What I want to be telling uh, you, Taurus, this year, if this is in regards to financial, keep an open head, all right? Keep an open head, uh, Taurus, in regards to just different ways to be making money is what I feel for you, all right? Because for some of you guys, you might be dismissive of some type of opportunity coming in because for many of you guys, right, with this full energy here, you feel as if it wouldn't turn out to be anything, right? But the Fool card does represent taking a leap of faith right for others of you you might be uh, receiving this uh communication coming in and you're just like brushing it off being like eh, what you doing honey you know you know all i want you to be uh want to be telling you right now taurus is just be open darling be open at this current point in time because you're going to be happy with what message comes in all right so let's continue on with your tarot reading uh taurus let's see what else is happening for you you have your three cards already pulled out, honey. They drop down right here, uh, Taurus. So let's take them individually here. We have here the two of pentacles coming in here. This is what I was sensing because this is under your hermit energy. Y'all have just been having feelings of being overwhelmed. Maybe it's as if some of you Tauruses, you have so much on your personal plate or things that like you know that you need to address or that you need to do. Some of you guys, you might be getting overwhelmed with like schoolwork, for example, um, or just overwhelmed with bills, honey. Some of you as well. There's this feeling of where it's like you're being, so, you're feeling so overwhelmed. So like you're, you're, you're your natural state ends up being where you just shut down and recluse in, right? You have this devil energy coming in here as well, Taurus. And then we have the Knight of Cups coming in here. So it's like, even as, even, <laughs> it's so interesting, Taurus, because it's like, it. this is coming in whether you like it or not right and for many of you guys you're very resistant towards it initially i feel as if some of you guys might be dismissive dismissive towards this energy because it's just like no i can't handle another thing on my plate i can't entertain doing this energy or doing this new job or doing like uh listening to this new energy here because you just have too much that you need to manage here right but you know page of pentacles coming in here this is your energy taurus right pentacle energy earth energy here you're an earth sign uh taurus uh coming in here um it would be i feel as if like this is something you just don't want to ignore all right don't ignore this energy coming in and you know this is this can come into as many signs of where it's just like again a job opportunity again communication you might be noticing people i really feel as if many of you uh tauruses are going to be just consistently hearing mess hearing messages back uh from people or there's people checking up on you taurus and you just want to lean into that further, right? Even though internally you're just like, man, you don't have the time, you don't have the emotional battery, the social battery to engage with people. Queen of Pentacles lets you know where it's like you won't regret this at the end of the day. Whatever this Knight of Cups is, whether it's in terms of a person or an opportunity, hear this Knight of Cups out. All right, hear this Knight of Cups out. And I feel like, again, strongly for a majority of you Tauruses, this Knight of Cups isn't quite literally a person trying to communicate with you, Taurus, okay? We have here the Hermit Energy, darling. <laughs> Taurus, what, why, honey, why y'all feeling like such a hermit right now, darling, right? What's going on here, Taurus? Why are y'all just in such a hermiting phase? All right, so are y'all really are y'all depressed, honey? You know, do you does anyone else have like family members or friends that are just like will just come up to you and be like, why are you depressed? And they're like, girl, if I knew that, I wish I would take care of it myself, right? <laughs> you have the Ace of Wands coming in here as well, Taurus, and then darling, we have coming in the Nine of Swords coming in, Taurus back of the deck energy my second favorite tarot card darling is the six of wands coming in here so what i feel like for some of you guys taurus is this message of where you don't want to enter entertain this new situation here because of like the fear of disappointment the fear of failure and like for some of you guys you're just like you have too much on your plate honey to be you know to be having another hiccup in your life right you got too much going on, too many things trying you, too many people uh, trying you as well, uh, Taurus. And so you're at this place where it's just like, nope, I'm not taking anything else in unless until you address the things on your to-do list. And so, you know, and I get that entirely, Taurus, and I'm guilty of it as well. But I, again, I feel as if strongly that 
again for some of you guys there's just like this anxiety where it's just like yeah but like i feel so strongly towards it you just need to go forward towards it darling as hard as it may be darling right whatever is keeping you holding you back and keeping you in your reserved shell darling right you won't regret this right you won't regret this in terms of job opportunities and what have you even if it's going to take a lot of shifting in your life to make it work out you won't regret it because the six of wands is the card of um in my opinion it's like the card of fame and fortune i'm not saying that you're going to be famous uh taurus obviously but for it would just be a very fortunate time it's a card of victory it's a card of just overall generalized uh success in your life excuse me taurus if you heard my laptop dinging honey all right so like as hard as it might be even for some of you guys you are just like really fighting <laughs> to just like not engage with new energy here um it would be in your best nature to um to open up to it all right so and i hear for some of you tourists you're gonna be like oh honey i have no problem opening up to us right but um there is gonna be that small percentage that have to fight through like their depression bout right because again like we're all human human here i understand it entirely you know uh page of wands coming in here for you taurus okay okay and then we have coming in the lover's energy darling again so strong like this taurus if you're finding people trying to just connect with you and reach out to you taurus don't don't ignore it honey don't ignore it don't ignore them high priestess energy as well back of the deck energy here is the chariot energy so even if I, even though I know I keep on saying don't ignore it, Taurus, I feel as if they're going to make it really hard for you to ignore them as well. I feel like for a lot of you Tauruses, there was a part of you that also knew that even if you were to admit it to yourself, Taurus, there was a part of you that um, on some level, this is going to be coming in, all right? I feel like whenever I see the High Priestess energy here, it's letting me know that y'all's intuition, Taurus, uh, is spot on with something, right? So, you know, like, as, like, and you're not going to mistake this for anything else, Taurus. Like, how you're going to be, uh, be able to identify this energy is with how persistent it's going to be, right? It's like you're, you, it's like someone off asks you to go out, you know, go out and like to a restaurant or something. And you're like, no. And then this person then texts back me, like, oh, well, why don't we just do, you know, you want to hang out at the house? You want to watch a movie? You want, you know, it's in that, it's very persistent energy here. Taurus all right um in terms of opportunities I feel like even if you first initially reject the offer for like a job situation here um I feel like they're just like oh, are you sure and then they call you back two days later and be like hey Taurus just thinking about you how you still feel like you still don't want to do that job or what have you right two of swords coming in here Taurus now again I have to be realistic here Taurus right this is free will darling you're you know the future is never just set in stone right you are always open to changing uh and making your own decisions darling because you are your own human being honey but um the really the biggest challenge for you guys Taurus is like um getting yourself out of this rut or just breaking free from the nest from your comfort zone right um and three of pentacles coming in here i just feel so heavily like this some somehow uh taurus some socially a person plays a pretty big role in your life page uh, or rather not the page the four of pentacles coming in for you as well taurus all right did i hold it up long enough for y'all to be seeing so fact of the matter is for you taurus is that this is coming in whether you like it or not you're going like for many of you guys i feel like actually for all of you tauruses you're going to be having like a new friendship starting you're going to be having the rekindling of some old connections as well i see that with the ten of cups but i feel like that's a small percentage of you and for a lot of you Tauruses, again, like especially in terms of financial situation, situations and jobs, if someone comes up to you um, asking if you want to dabble into, you know, experimenting, like, you know, trying to do, make a living off of uh, YouTube, for example, right? Um, because with this Three of Pentacles here, it's like a collaborative thing where it's just like, oh, hey, Taurus, do you want to do such and such, right, together so we can make more money? You know, Two of Swords here, I feel like that's kind of your energy currently, Taurus, aside from the Hermit 
energy that we pulled twice for you. Oh, I just bit my cheek on him. I have my wisdom teeth coming in. So now it's like, I'm trying to adjust to like having a extra set of teeth now um, coming in. So it's like, whatever this is, Taurus, like, there's going to be a reason why it just keeps on being persistent in your life. All right, darling, your animal oracle card for this week, Taurus, is uh, the blue heron. All right, the blue heron. And this says, make a stand for what you believe in and do what you feel is right in spite of judgment or disapproval from others. All right. And I kind of feel like this is more so just about yourself here, Taurus, right? still make the decision of what you feel is right um and not just you know like what you feel like in your core not just being like oh i don't feel like going out when you know deep down that you need to like get out of your shell right or to have you tours right you need to honor your intuition at this time tours because a lot of you guys not a lot of you all of you tourists are really can in tune with your intuition right now and what i see the intuition as is like your spirit guys your spiritual team ancestors and all that right you're being actually actively guided right now towards but for whatever the reason is it's like some of you guys are choosing to um turn a blind eye towards it or just kind of like put your hands to your ears and be like i'm not listening i'm not listening i'm not listening you know it's very interesting you have the waxing crescent moon uh, coming in here telling you to have faith in your dreams here taurus so some of you guys um hmm. Oh, that's a bummer. I feel as if some of you guys might have just gotten into this hermiting state um, because you guys have just initially just kind of given up um, and hoping for like a better tomorrow. And that just bums me out because it's just like, I don't know, like I feel like with the waxing crescent moon telling you to have faith in your dreams, Taurus, it's like it's like your spiritual team is sending forth all these blessings into your life and trying to convince you just like no Taurus, like we can bring so much happiness into your life we can like so much good can happen for your future just don't give up darling all right so whatever this is for you Taurus, um especially if you're depressed right now you know i get it darling i'm still fighting through some depression of my own darling right um, but we always have to make a conscious choice every single day to still get up and, you know, shower and brush our teeth and just do things that we, uh, on the surface level, you're just like, I don't feel like doing it, but we know it's going to be for our betterment. And I see you guys, if you guys were opening up to this Taurus, things would be so beautiful for you, Taurus. All right. So I love you so much, Taurus. If you enjoyed this tarot reading today, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe, uh, Taurus. If you want to book a private personal reading with me, darling. My website's linked down below, simplyvelka.com. Uh, next to my social media is TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. All that just being Simply Velka. And I'll be connecting with you, Taurus, sometime in the near future, darling. All right? Bye, honey.